Hi, my name is Hardy Rupan, and I am the man in the wild. And in today's episode, we are going to take a look at five of the many creatures that could be found here on Clifton Hill Beach. But before we move on to the video, I would like to thank you all for supporting this channel. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the bell icon. Leave a comment and a like. It goes a long way in helping us to produce more videos like this. Now, on to five of the many creatures that you can find here at Clifton Hill Beach in Point Fourteen. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. The Golden Olive Woodpecker, locally called the Carpenter Bird, is one of the six species of woodpeckers found in Trinidad. This woodpecker is native to Trinbago. It can also be found as far north as Mexico and as far south as north of Argentina. With a bright red cap on its head, it sports a light yellow spotted with black under its belly and a beautiful olive green on its upper body. This woodpecker is amazing and beautiful but rarely seen. Most Trinbegonians have never seen this woodpecker as it is not common throughout the island. But at Clifton Hill Beach in Point Fourteen, this woodpecker lives within the mangrove area. And even though you may not see it, it is recognizable by its distinctive chirp. So when next you visit Clifton Hill Beach in Point Fourteen, listen for that distinctive chirp. This woodpecker is significantly smaller than most other woodpeckers, as it measures approximately 7.5 inches in length, which is just about 19 centimeters. These woodpeckers usually eat fruits and berries, but they usually spend their day picking at the branches in search of insects as it is their favorite meal. Although their numbers have been dwindling over the years due to habitat loss, these birds are very much alive and healthy here at Clifton Hill Beach in Point Fortin. The Aretas Pusoniae, or Jumbi Crab as it is locally called, is a mangrove tree climbing crab. The carapace or body of the crab ranges in color from pinkish to olive green and even dark brown. The body ranges in size between one to one and a half inch, which is approximately three to four centimeters. These crabs spend their day on the trunks of the mangrove trees, feeding in between the crevices on the moss and algae that has been collected as the tides rise and fall. Although they are considered herbivores, these crabs would seize the opportunity to eat a small creature or fish if they get the opportunity. These adult crabs would live, feed and mate on the trunks of these mangrove trees. And when it's time to lay their eggs, they would wait until the tide comes in, climb down to the water's edge and wash their eggs into the water. The eggs hatch in the sea and eventually the young crabs will find their way back to the mangroves. The juveniles would find hiding places among the roots of the mangrove tree. And as they grow older, and larger in size, they would join the adults up on the trunk of the mangrove tree. These crabs have the ability to move at incredible speeds on these tree trunks if a predator attacks. Most of us may never notice these crabs as they are so well camouflaged on the trunks of these mangrove trees. The Euside Kratos, locally called the hairy crab, is a native 
to Trinidad and Tobago and is a permanent resident at Clifton Hill Beach in Point Fortin. On a cool day, if undisturbed, these crabs spend their day outside of their burrow just relaxing. These crabs are considered a delicacy in Trinidad and can be found by the thousands here at Clifton Hill Beach. Being herbivores, these crabs mainly feed on the leaf litter that falls from the mangrove trees onto the mangrove floor. But they do also feed on microbes and sometimes worms that is found in the mud. The hairy crab usually mates during the months of July, August and September, during the periods of the highest tides, which is usually the full moon or the new moon. The female crab carries her eggs for a period of about four months. She can carry up to a hundred thousand eggs. After carrying the eggs for a period of four months, the female hairy crab will wash her eggs into the sea during the months of October, November and December, during the periods of the highest tides. In Trinidad, the periods of mating and egg washing is referred to as the crab run, as crabs are seen running all over the place during the mating and laying period. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. Your support goes a long way in helping us to produce more videos like this. When next you visit Cliftonal Beach in Point Fortin, be sure to take a walk along our mangrove trail. All of these creatures and more can be seen along the roadside of this trail. The anablips, or four-eyed fish, as they are more commonly called, is a resident of Clifton Hill Beach in Point Fortin. You can find them relaxing on the shoreline in the shallow surf at Clifton Hill Beach, and you can also find them in the river that flows into Clifton Hill Beach. The anablips is locally called the four-eyed fish, and this is because of the structure of their eyes. Their eyes bulge above their head. With a split down the middle, each eye is separated into two lobes, so they actually have four eyes. The upper lobe of the eyes can see above water, while the lower lobes see underwater, giving them perfect vision above and under the water. This characteristic labels them as one of the strangest fish in the world. Found in the river and shoreline, of Clifton Hill Beach, this wonderful creature feeds on small fish and crabs that they find in the surf. Growing to a length of approximately 12 inches or 30 centimeters, these specimens that we see here are full grown. They can live for a period of approximately eight years. Mating for these fish can be a challenge as their reproductive organ is located either on the left or right of their body. And mating is only accomplished if a male finds a female whose organ can align with his. They are live bearers, meaning the female give birth to live offspring, usually in batches of 10 to 15. If you find this video interesting, please share, give a like, leave a comment, and most of all, subscribe. It goes a long way in helping us to produce more videos like this. Clifton Hill Beach in Point Fortin is one of the places you can see this gentle creature swimming on the shoreline and in the river. When next you visit Clifton Hill Beach, look out for these creatures. The snowy egret is a beautiful, graceful heron that is found here at Clifton Hill Beach in Point Fortin. It is one of the members of the egret family 
that you can find in Trinidad. Some of its relatives that is found in Trinidad are the giant egret, the cattle egret, and the little egret. This snow egret is on the hunt. It is in search of the minnows that seek shelter within the river here at Clifton Hill Beach. These schools of minnows are young mullet seeking shelter from their predators. Gathering in small schools, they try to hide among the mangrove roots. The snowy egret is easily recognizable by its bright yellow feet and the yellow markings between its beak and eyes. The snowy egret cautiously moves towards the school of young mullets. And with a snatch, the feeding begins. Capable of catching multiple minnows in their beak simultaneously, another distinguishing feature of the snowy egret is the feathery plumage at the back of its head and on its lower chest. The snowy egret builds its nest out of sticks and twigs in the shrubs and low-hanging branches of the mangrove area. They would lay between three to four greenish, bluish eggs that are oval in shape. Both the male and the female take turns sitting on the eggs. The eggs would take about 25 days to hatch, and the babies would spend another 25 days in the nest before they exit and start to feed by themselves. So when next you visit Cliftonal Beach in Point Fortin, be sure to look out for the snowy egret. So when next you are visiting Cliftonal Beach in Point Fortin, feel free to take a hike through this natural nature trail at Clifton Hill Beach in Point Fortin. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.